you might be asking yourself, how can you possibly tell apart seven orange kittens who look exactly the same? So let me tell you my extremely scientific method. So let's start over here. This one is Helly. How do I know this is Helly? Because she looks like a well-loved teddy bear. This little girl always has bedhead because her fur is just a little bit longer and a little bit wavy. Who's next? This one is Gemma. Gemma is tinier and she has a little bit of a white blaze on her chest. Almost looks like she's wearing like a khaki pantsuit with a white shirt underneath. Very, very fancy. So then we have two other buff babies. This little one is Devin. She's our other female. Um, and she is a little bit bigger than her sister and she does not have the white blaze. Oh, you are so cute. What are you guys all looking at? This one is Irving. He's our only buff male. And I can tell him apart from the other ones because he's kind of got like a precious moments thing going on. He has like very sad eyes, um, but he's a very, very beautiful boy, aren't you? Who's next? Well, we have two of the darker orange boys. We have this one who is Mark. And over here we have Dylan. And you might think that they look really similar, but I'll tell you how I tell them apart. I think Dylan is more handsome and Mark is more cute. If you don't understand what I mean, what I'm saying is Dylan, he's a little bit more angular. He's got like supermodel vibes going on. Whereas Mark is all boy band. He's got the roundest little head ever. Yeah, you have an apple head. And then there's Miss Berta, and I will admit she's my favorite. I can always tell Berta apart because not only is she the smallest, but she's also the sweetest. She's always coming over to say hi. And most of her face lives on the bottom of her head. She's a cute little squish, and I love her very much. And that is how I tell my babies apart. It's just science.